So it is no secret that we love what Vernis is doing so far in this hobby. Uh, they came out with a very, very first smart telescope a few years ago with Stalina, which we tried and liked a lot. It was very surprising to see um, how easy it was to image from home with such a small instrument. And despite all the hate it got because of the price and how easy it was um, to now do astrophotography, some time later they released Vespera, which is smaller and more affordable. And we are currently using that right now because it's very nice and fun to challenge ourselves to uh, process data from Vespera and try to make it incredible. Uh, by the way, we have a video coming up this Friday where you will see a nice image taken with Vespera. And so now today they came up with yet one more innovation, which is what I love the most about the company. They always try to innovate with new out-of-the-box uh, products. And here we have Hestia. So after Stalina, Vespera, now comes Hestia. And this is going to help us take deep sky images uh, and solar images and lunar images using your phone. And so I really want to talk about this really quickly in this video because they came out with a Kickstarter, which after just one week just reached one million dollars already, uh, which is insane. And so this, unlike Stalina and Vespera, is going to cost much, much less. As of right now, the lowest tier on the Kickstarter to get a Hestia uh, is going to be $189, which is insane. And so of course it's going to allow everybody, including teenagers and even children, to buy this and do astrophotography, which is really, really good. And so I'm making this video because I really want to know what you think about this. I think this time, unlike uh, the Vespera and Stalina products, this one is going to get just love because it's really just a new door for beginners or for anyone that has not the money for something more expensive in this hobby. And so here, uh, the design is kind of like a box um, of this size, kind of. I think it's a bit smaller than this in terms of size, but a bit thicker. And this box, which we can call a telescope, I guess, um, you place your phone on top of it like this and you can just, oh, maybe like this, because the camera is here. So like this, and then you can um, image um, by pointing this at the sky and image deep sky objects or whatever you want. But I'm not exactly sure what the design is uh, just yet. It's kind of like, I guess, a telescope that's like a reflector, I'm not sure. Um, but all you need is your phone. So uh, the light will go through the box and hit your phone sensor. So many of the phones are currently available for this including many, many phones in the future. They made sure to design uh, this box so that all the future phones will for sure fit. So that's a really good thing. Um, they call this future proof, which means you won't have to worry about replacing the telescope in the future. It should be safe to have for years and years to come, which is a good thing. And so you might wonder how to use that. So apparently uh, what you'll do is you'll have a, an app called Gravity and you can have a, an AR feature. So once you put it like this, you see your screen on top and you can use the AR feature like Sky Safari does or uh, Stellarium does and rotate the telescope slash box to the sky and uh, it will tell you when to go, like go right, go left, go up, go down. If you want to go, for example, to M13 or M42, uh, it will tell you exactly where to go. And once you're aligned with it, you can start imaging. So the main concern right now is the lack of tracking, but apparently they're already working on a motorized tracking mount. So it should be available, I think next year, which is great. And once this uh, mount will be available, then you can attach the mount between the tripod and the telescope itself, and it should be able to track and take very long exposures using your phone. There are also some other accessories, for example, the solar filter, which is going to be uh, I'm guessing very, very popular for the upcoming solar eclipses because there are two upcoming ones and uh, I think it's going to be perfect. You can just throw this in your backpack, use the solar filter in your phone and simply get a nice shot of the eclipse. You can also do this for the sun during the daytime. Uh, you can also image the moon and like you see here, deep sky objects. Uh, those two are the current ones that they show on the Kickstarter and uh, I really cannot wait to try this myself and see if we can image something in depth like we're currently doing with Espera. And so yes, that was a very quick uh, video. I really want to um, see what this is capable of and if it's really going to be a long-term thing, I really hope so. 
Um, I can really see anyone being able to purchase this. So finally, something that's very, very affordable and um, going to be the entry door to this hobby for many more. So I'll have a link below for the Kickstarter. Uh, you guys can go check it out. Uh, there are different packages that are all on sale if you want to get one. We are waiting for ours, so we'll probably have one uh, whenever it comes out and we'll make sure to have a review video and uh, we'll challenge ourselves to have the best possible images uh, with this new telescope. So we'll see you guys next time and uh, on Friday, don't miss out the video about Vespera imaging a deep sky object deep. So see you guys next time and class guys.